The universe is an endless fractal made basically out of an endless number of infinite blasts known as minimal large bangs. In the event that you consult a science course book distributed before 2006, you will see that Pluto was incorporated as one of the nine planets in our solar system. However, this is no longer the case. Around a decade ago, the International Astronomical Union reclassified Pluto's status and excluded it as a planet. Now the IAU is again discussing this issue, since NASA has given clear pictures of Pluto, currently viewed as a dwarf planet. Join us on a journey to the far reaches of our solar system to explore the first pictures of Pluto in our history. If you're keen on staying informed about news from the universe and its phenomena, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video, share it to reach more people, and turn on the notification bell. We've made some significant progress since the historic Apollo 11 mission, but the vastness of space presents a multitude of unanswered questions. This is where NASA's pivotal James Webb Space Telescope project aims to explore a universe of its own. This amazing task expands on NASA's past missions, and there is great interest in deciphering unique discoveries from ancient times. We are naturally curious to learn more about the Big Bang and how our solar system came to host life on one of its planets. The James Webb Telescope, however, has its sights set on the future of our solar system, revolutionizing our understanding. Although it is important to determine if we need to look back for definitive answers about our universe and perhaps reconsider them, the Pluto question has been a topic of contention in the field of space exploration. Thanks to the James Webb Telescope and the revelations it has provided, we now have more data to explore our local planetary system. It seems that the $101 billion investment in NASA has led to an update of science textbooks to include everything we know about Pluto. This time, it is likely to regain planetary status. Here's why. Our information about Pluto doesn't end with the controversial IAU decision in 2006. In fact, it is the new and enhanced capabilities of the James Webb that have provided the pictorial evidence needed to support our theoretical understanding of this putative planet. Although past classifications determined which objects were considered planets and which were not, the IAU had limited solid data on which to base their decision. The rules used for this classification may have been questioned after the decision in 2006. Two distinct scientific perspectives on the issue have arisen. Some believe that the IAU was rushed in declaring Pluto a dwarf planet, while others quickly accepted the new non-planet status. Most spacefarers have remained uncertain regarding this issue. However, due to the intriguing discoveries of the James Webb, the question of Pluto's status remains unresolved. The initial sharp images of Pluto provided by NASA are revising how we interpret cosmic history. The first and fundamental human experience with Pluto was led by the New Horizons mission, which has been ongoing for years. In July 2015, the mission achieved its objective by passing near Pluto and its many moons. This was when people first had the chance to get a close look at the space object and collected the most comprehensive data set to date about its moons and surface. The New Horizons mission opened up exceptional opportunities for NASA in its exploration of the Kuiper Belt, a distant region of space. The primary success of the mission was the detailed study of Pluto, now considered a dwarf planet, and its largest moon, Charon. It also managed to capture clear images of the four other satellites known as Nix, Hydra, Kerberos, and Styx over a period of 15 months. The mission gathered data, including the encounter with Pluto and Charon amounting to 6.25 gigabytes. What does this data mean for NASA regarding the dwarf planet? First, the findings were so remarkable that scientists had to develop new data models to better understand Pluto's surface and atmospheric conditions. It was found that the dwarf planet was undergoing significant changes in its surface and atmosphere. It was evident that Pluto was far from being a dormant body. It was evolving at a rate that surprised NASA and challenged previous beliefs about this putative planet. The New Horizons mission was crucial, and its encounter with Pluto occurred almost nine years ago. Since then, the field of space exploration has seen dramatic improvements through technological advancements. With the addition of the James Webb Space Telescope, the possible outcomes are becoming endless. One could even say that we are getting increasingly close to a complete understanding of our solar system. However, there is an issue with missions like New Horizons and any efforts to explore planets further from the Sun. 
The issue lies in the prioritization of resources, as investing millions to study a scientifically significant planet might raise questions about the presence of possible life elsewhere. Why head to the edges of the solar system? These are challenging questions to be sure. Nonetheless, the New Horizons mission marked a turning point in the history of space exploration. Not only did it open new avenues for NASA to invest in the study of Pluto, but it also sparked our curiosity in further exploration beyond known boundaries. In the case of Pluto, its study is crucial to building a broader scientific understanding of other small planets. Although it lies in a cold, dark region of the universe, the initial images of its surface were significant enough to reveal that Pluto is an active object in our local planetary system. As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words, and these high-resolution images from NASA provide us with valuable information. First, Pluto was found to have a heart shape. Most topographical features on this dwarf planet are derived from its core, scientifically known as Sputnik Planum. Surprisingly, Pluto literally leans on its heart. A quick look at NASA's high-resolution images revealed that this heart is a white, almost frozen left ventricle of Sputnik's heart. It resembles a massive nitrogen glacier covering thousands of square kilometers. Another striking geological feature of Pluto's surface is that the axis of its rotation has undergone significant reorientation, what scientists call a precession cycle. This was unknown to NASA prior to the mission. The dwarf planet's bowl is in the opposite position than expected. This reorientation has significant implications for understanding the dynamics and evolution of Pluto as a planet. In simple terms, the rotational axis between the moon Charon and Pluto is being influenced by Sputnik Planum, the core of the dwarf planet. This effect has reoriented Pluto so that its axis is more closely aligned with its rotational axis, something that was not previously known. We have always known that this distant planet is complex for obvious reasons. However, what was not known is that Pluto's cold surface also causes a tilt due to the irregularity in its mass. The core of the dwarf planet is a four kilometers thick layer of ice, which is likely contributing to its immense mass. When combined with tides, this process can cause the reorientation of the planet's rotation axis. However, the ice alone is not sufficient to produce a significant reorientation point or to create substantial features. As mentioned earlier, scientifically supported investigations can reshape our cosmic history, and this is one such moment. Researchers have also found that Pluto is a world with its own ocean beneath its thick ice sheets and icy surface. Pluto's interior contains a vast sea, which also impacts the reorientation of its rotation axis. This discovery is remarkable for several reasons, but most importantly because it fundamentally changes our understanding of the planet. The highly probable existence of an ocean beneath Pluto's icy surface means that we will gain more information about its origin and how it formed. The discovery of a sea beneath Pluto's frozen surface has sparked new questions and possibilities in planetary science. It challenges our understanding of what constitutes a habitable environment beyond Earth, and prompts us to reconsider the dynamics of celestial bodies in the distant reaches of our solar system. This sea, hypothesized based on gravitational data and now strongly supported by the New Horizons mission's findings, represents a potential source of liquid water beneath a frozen exterior. Understanding Pluto's geological processes is crucial for grasping its evolution over billions of years. The dwarf planet's surface features, including its distinctive heart-shaped region, and the unexpected reorientation of its rotation axis provide intriguing insights. Sputnik Planum, the heart's left ventricle, acts as a remarkable geological feature. It is believed to be a large basin that might have formed due to a subsurface ocean freezing and causing the surface to collapse or possibly due to an impact that exposed material, creating a deep depression. The New Horizons mission's encounter with Pluto in 2015 revealed a dynamic world far from the cold, inactive body it was once thought to be. The mission captured detailed images of Pluto's diverse landscape, including mountains made of water ice, vast fields of nitrogen ice, and regions with complex patterns resembling cellular networks. These features suggest active geological processes possibly driven by internal heat sources or interactions between surface materials and Pluto's thin atmosphere. Pluto's atmosphere, though thin compared to Earth's, plays a crucial role in its surface dynamics. 
It primarily consists of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. During Pluto's elliptical orbit around the Sun, these volatile gases sublimate from its surface, creating transient atmospheres that vary with seasonal changes. Understanding these atmospheric processes helps scientists reconstruct Pluto's climatic history and its ongoing evolution. The New Horizons mission's discoveries extended beyond Pluto itself to its system of moons. Charon, Pluto's largest moon, revealed an unexpectedly diverse landscape, including a massive chasm larger than the Grand Canyon and a dark region nicknamed Mordor for its distinctive hue. Other moons, such as Hydra and Nix, showed irregular shapes and cratered surfaces, indicating a history marked by impacts and geological activity. NASA's exploration of Pluto and its moons represents humanity's ongoing quest to explore and understand the vastness of our solar system. Each new discovery raises further questions about the origins, evolution, and diversity of celestial bodies, challenging existing theories and prompting scientists to develop new models and hypotheses. Beyond its scientific significance, Pluto holds cultural and symbolic value as a distant frontier that humanity has reached and explored. The images and data returned by New Horizons captivated people around the world, sparking imagination and rekindling interest in space exploration. The mission's success highlighted the importance of perseverance and innovation in pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. Looking forward, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope promises to further transform our understanding of Pluto and other distant objects in the Kuiper Belt. Scheduled to launch in 2022, this advanced space observatory will peer deeper into space and time than ever before, using its sophisticated instruments to study the atmospheres, structures, and dynamics of planetary bodies. More than ever, the James Webb Telescope's capabilities extend beyond visible light, allowing it to detect infrared radiation emitted by objects in deep space. This ability is crucial for studying cold, faint objects like Pluto, whose weak emissions are challenging to capture with traditional telescopes. By analyzing the infrared signatures of Pluto and its moons, scientists hope to gain insights into their surface compositions, geological activities, and even possible signs of organic molecules. One of the primary goals of the James Webb Telescope is to investigate the origins of planetary systems and the conditions that led to the formation of habitable worlds like Earth. By studying objects in the Kuiper Belt, including Pluto and its neighbors, astronomers aim to unravel the puzzle of how small icy bodies interacted and evolved in the early solar system. These discoveries could provide clues to the prevalence of water and organic compounds in other planetary systems throughout the galaxy. The technological advancements made possible by missions like New Horizons and the James Webb Telescope are paving the way for future exploration of the outer solar system and beyond. Concepts for future missions include orbiters and landers designed to study Pluto's surface more closely, collect samples, and even search for signs of microbial life in its subsurface ocean. The search for life beyond Earth is a central theme in planetary science driving researchers to explore diverse environments and assess the potential habitability of celestial bodies. While Pluto's surface conditions are harsh and cold to known forms of life, the discovery of liquid water beneath its icy shell raises intriguing possibilities. Similar subsurface oceans might exist on other icy moons in the outer solar system, such as Europa around Jupiter and Enceladus around Saturn. Studying Pluto's subsurface ocean could provide insights into the conditions necessary for life to emerge and thrive in extreme environments. By analyzing the chemical composition of water and minerals in the ocean, scientists can assess its potential to support microbial life or preserve evidence of past organic activity. Future missions equipped with advanced robotic technology could drill through the ice to sample the ocean and search for signs of life. The exploration of Pluto and its moon system also contributes to our understanding of planetary defense against potential asteroid impactors. Objects in the Kuiper Belt, including Pluto, are remnants of the early solar system and can provide valuable insights into the frequency and nature of impacts that shaped planetary development. By examining impact craters and surface features on Pluto and its moons, researchers can reconstruct the history of cosmic collisions and assess the risks posed by near-Earth objects. NASA's planetary defense efforts aim to detect and track potentially hazardous asteroids and comets that could pose a threat to Earth. 
By studying the characteristics of the Kuiper Belt and other regions of the solar system, astronomers can enhance their ability to predict and mitigate impact hazards. Future missions to Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects will contribute to these efforts by expanding our knowledge of celestial dynamics and the geological processes that shape planetary surfaces. In addition to scientific research, the exploration of Pluto inspires wonder and curiosity about the universe. The images and data returned by space missions capture the imagination of people worldwide, fostering a sense of awe and appreciation for the beauty and complexity of our solar system. As humanity continues to explore and expand its understanding of the universe, each new discovery brings us closer to uncovering the mysteries of our cosmic origins and our place in the cosmos. The study of Pluto and its moons exemplifies the collaborative nature of space exploration, with scientists, engineers, and researchers from around the world working together to achieve ambitious goals. Global partnerships and collaborations enhance our ability to conduct complex missions, share knowledge, and advance scientific understanding for the benefit of all humanity. By pooling resources and expertise, space agencies can tackle challenges that would be difficult for any single country or organization to address. Looking ahead, future generations of scientists and explorers will build upon the foundation laid by missions like New Horizons and the James Webb Telescope. Advances in technology, including artificial intelligence and autonomous robotics, will enable more sophisticated missions to explore distant worlds and unravel the secrets of the universe. These missions will continue to push the boundaries of human knowledge and inspire future generations to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM. In conclusion, the exploration of Pluto has revealed a dynamic and complex world far beyond our previous understanding. From its diverse surface features and subsurface ocean to its unique atmosphere and system of moons, Pluto challenges scientists to rethink planetary processes and explore the potential for life beyond Earth. Future missions, empowered by advances in technology and international collaboration, will continue to expand our knowledge of the universe and deepen our appreciation for the wonders of space.